All right. Okay, here's the Yark all up and running. Um, the power company finally came on and cut the power on. We were able to start it up today. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to do that or not. As I said earlier in the other video, I just signed up a train. And uh, the reason I did that is because I got a family member that works for train directly for the company. And he's been bugging me to sign up a train. And I've always kind of wanted to. So I went ahead and did it. And another main reason I did it was because I was fixing to have to start hunting for a new brand to sell anyway because I'm currently not going to be selling York anymore. This is probably my last York. And um, the reason I'm doing that, for two reasons. Uh, the main reason is I don't like my distributor any longer. They've uh, got some new people working for them and they just, they, they've just they went down in the dumps. And uh, I feel like ever since Johnson Controls took over York, the product has went down a little bit. I mean, that's not really the reason I'm leaving. I mean, the product's not terribly bad, but I feel like it's not as good as it used to be. Uh, my dad's been in this business for over 30 years. I've been in it for right at 10. I love this business. I enjoy doing it. I take a lot of pride in my work. Um, that's why I enjoy watching you, Fritz, and Nick, and Dallas, and all y'all. Y'all see y'all take a lot of pride. Y'all take a lot of pride in y'all's work, and I'm the same way. But what I would like to get y'all's opinion on, on this particular York unit right here, this, this particular model, that I do not like at all is I don't know if y'all can see this but you see that damn coil in there that is a micro channel I'm sure y'all heard about that uh, Nordine actually has that coil and I was really upset when York went to this coil um, I would really like to get I don't like it um, a lot of people around here hate it and uh, they just, you know, now I, I'll tell you this. I haven't had no trouble as far as I'm leaking, as far as leaks in the coil. But what I don't like is it's harder to charge. It holds less refrigerant. And the main thing that I do not like about this call, this is my main pet peeve about it. You cannot pump the condenser down. So if you got a bad TXV indoor or, or you know, whatever you got going on, you got to end up doing something. You cannot pump this condenser down. It will not hold the refrigerant. The minute you start pumping it down, the compressor will actually kick into eternal bypass and just not pump down. And also, when I say it's hard to charge it, it's, it's hard to get a correct superheat reading on this coil. Because <laughs> uh, um, I do sell a cheap old brand. I mean, I try not to sell it unless my customer absolutely can't afford nothing else. I'll sell an Arco Air. And an Arco Air has uh, all copper coils. And uh, even on the train spine fin, uh, I've charged a couple of them. And I noticed that it's not hard like this to charge. But I'd like to get y'all's opinion on that. Um, there it is again. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm sure y'all can. Micro channel. Fritz, uh, I, I want you to know, brother, when I watched your video of your uh, yellow jacket a tubing bender and expander, uh, I went out and got me one two days later, man. I love it. Uh, when I saw your video on that, I just knew I had to have it. And there's, I mean, it's not a major bend, but that eliminated a 45 right there. Um, I love my bender, love my expander. But uh, Fritz, Nick, Dallas, let me know what y'all think about this micro channel. Um, I'm not a fan of it. Um, but I'd like to hear some feedback on that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.